You're watching Rolling with Stone brought to you by Maloofs. I'm Taylor Peters, of course, you know Coach Stone. Tom, you drop a couple of games over the weekend on the road at Texas, at TCU, but now you're coming back and it's the time to sort of respond to those two losses. I mean, what's sort of your message to your team? What did you learn from that? Well, I think what they've all learned down the stretch of the Big 12 when you're playing nine freshmen and sophomores is how hard it is to get wins in your own conference. Teams that don't know us out of the conference, some better than teams in our conference, we handled easily. But you get in that backyard brawl and everybody knows each other and it really challenges you to be at your best. And with all the changes we've had to make since Har went down, um, we haven't gotten the response from on each different line. I mean, I really think we were cooking at eight and two when we beat Iowa State three nothing. That was our kind of a high point at home. And then as we've had to move people to different lines of the team, we haven't gotten the same response. And in some cases, players are playing absolutely their best out of position. And in some cases, we've had to urge them on this week to respond to the realities of our situation. And I'm hopeful that they'll stand up. The final game of the regular season hosting OU, a, a very good team, the fourth ranked team in the Big 12 right now. If you are going to have a chance of making it to the Big 12 tournament, you got to come out with a win on Friday. What do you anticipate seeing from OU, and how do you hope that your team's able to sort of expose some of their weaknesses? You know, OU reminds us of our of our group last year. There are tons of upperclassmen. They only lost, I think, one starter, maybe two, and they look like just a better version of themselves from last year. So we know how good they are. They're number five in the country in the RPI. So you're looking at a top five team. And we've had really tight games with them the last several years. They've been 1-0 games or overtime games or a couple of ties. So, you know, Matt does a great job, and he's, he's riding the wave right now with a, with a senior-laden team. I think they deserve to be where they are. They're going to get a lot of home games in the NCAA tournament, and they're cooking. So, you know, there's no easy way around this OU defense or the way they play the game. And, you know, we'll have to be at our best. To, to get something out of it. We don't have quite as many seniors on, on this year's team here at Texas Tech, but four girls playing their last game here at home on Friday. What do you want to say about Lauren and some of the girls on their on your team that are playing their last game on Friday? Well, you know, I think when you look at them, each one has their own story. And when you look at their stories, they're, you know, there's highs and lows, and there's this roller coaster of college athletics and life and perseverance and pushing through and all the different things that they've gone through. But I think one of the things about, you know, each of these young ladies is that they have really stood up and stood the test of time of, of playing through surgeries and uh, we're proud of all four of them we're happy that they're going to go off and be great at whatever they do i know some have already been accepted to their graduate programs you know jade's already into the nursing school which is fantastic uh, we hope low plays at the next level i think she'll get that chance and you know the other two are going to be just phenomenal in whatever they do athletics is such a springboard for that right. and we've seen all four of them you know make the most of it a huge opportunity for you guys on friday if you want any ticket information or time just head on over to texastech.com and follow texas tech soccer on twitter for coach i'm taylor thanks for watching